we can show that altruistic behavior, this is a bit controversial because scientists argue about where altruism comes from. I argue that it's social in nature. Um, it varies. And we can do this behaviorally, not just what people think. Um, and legal cynicism is another aspect of communities, almost a cultural aspect that's important, as is uh, what we call legal cynicism. People that have a corrosive attitude about the law. Um, for example, we ask people, um, you know, it's okay to get around the law if you, if you can get away with it. We ask about police legitimacy. Police can be trusted. Police are fair. Police work with residents. I think the chiefs will probably um, recognize that no matter what they do or that in certain communities there's, there's a distrust and this really is a challenge in terms of it seems to me practice and what we found I'm just gonna tell you the the results is that in areas with high legal cynicism um, two things one those neighborhoods that are sort of flat and don't decrease or are persistently high violence it's not just collective efficacy and poverty a recent paper um, published by others shows that um, those rem sort of cycles of violence neighborhoods are very high in legal cynicism. There's something about the attitudes of the residents that's implicated. And in a paper with Jeff Mornoff and Steve Roudenbush, we also showed that legal cynicism accounts for a significant share of the black-white gap in violence.